Hello, my name is Amy Naylor. Welcome back to another handpan build a beat video. This is the second in the series. I've decided that it's a series now. If you haven't seen the first one yet, uh, check out the link in the description below. I recommend that you uh, learn that one first and then move on to this video, uh, just because it might be a good idea to build up from a simple groove to a slightly more complicated groove. And that's the trajectory that I hope to go in throughout this series. Um, so the groove that we're going to be learning today looks like this. promise that it's much more simple than it looks. So you'll notice from watching that that there are four different sounds that we're going to be using today. So we've got our ding, we've done that before, we've got tack, we've done that before, we've got ghost, can't really hear it. We've also got, uh, play we're also going to be playing in the tone field here. also play it on the shoulder depending on how much your handpan rings. For me it makes more sense to move inward a little bit, for you it might work right on the edge. Yeah, so those are the four different sounds. So if I were to take the ghosts out, in fact if I were to take the ghosts and my left hand out, I would be playing this. That's the skeleton of the beat. That's the main part. And you can also play those tacks over here if you like. Yeah, that's the main part of the groove, which is, as you'll notice, exactly the same as the groove in the last video. What we've done then is we've added two extra things with our left hand to make it a little bit more funky. We've got the So then once we put the ghost notes back in, and that's it, that's the whole thing. So once you start to strip everything back and practice one hand at a time, you notice that actually the elements are really, really simple. It just starts to sound complicated and sound more exciting when you put them together. You'll also notice that those extra notes with the other hand come in right before each of the notes beats, I should say, with the dominant hand. So listen again carefully. All of the extras that aren't this skeleton part come right before. before is the, the two and and the four and. So the the uh, beats that you're looking out for are the and three and one and three and one all the elements of that groove in tiny chunks, put it all together, and you've got a funky rhythm. <laughs> if I could play it right. And it's those differences between the beats that are really close together and the beats that are far apart that make it really is interesting to listen to and to move to. So as we always do, let's get a beat going. 
I'll play a rhythm, you play it back to me, and let's build up from beat one. So the groove that we're, or the, uh, the beat that we're using today is 120 BPM, simple upbeat. So you can find that on my website completely for free if you want to practice in your own time. But for now, let's try it together. One and two and my turn first. One and two and off you go. Oh, one and two and three. Nice. My turn. One and two and off you go. Oh, one and two and three. Let's add in the ghost note. One and two and three and off you go. One. supposed to be a ghost. Keep it nice and quiet. One and two and three. That's better. Off you go. One and two and three. Nice. My turn. One and two and three and off you go. One and two and three. So that and that's where that louder tone comes into place. Two and three. Watch carefully. One and two and Nice, one more time. One and two and three and off you go. Ding, shh, shh, bah. Let's do the next one. Off you go. Ding, shh, shh, dum, da. Nice. Off you go. Ding, shh, shh, bah. Yeah. Last one. So once you're comfortable and confident with that groove, then because we've got that constant ghost note thing going on, there's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, you can just start moving and just start putting in some notes here and there. Just make it random, see what sounds terrible, see what sounds good. If it sounds good, repeat that again the next time. Yeah, and start exploring some things with this groove. For instance, that is fun to listen to, fun to play, fun to move to, and uh, a little bit of a brain, brain teaser as well. So 
have fun with that. And um, yeah, if you want to practice along to some more beats, there's loads on my website that you can find, amynailermusic.com. Um, if you need a simpler groove to practice to first, again, I recommend you check out the previous video, link below. If you would like some more extra handpan content, if you would like this beat written down to download that you can practice with, um, if you want to see my own practice routines and some behind the scenes, you can join me over on Patreon. Um, your support would mean the absolute world to me. Um, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram and that kind of thing. If you would like classes, I teach every Sunday um, online. You're always welcome to join and I also offer private lessons. Um, so please do get in touch if there's anything that you'd like to ask. I'm always happy to hear from you. So happy practicing and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.